two games. Yeah, change of venue. Um, and yeah, we need to need to win this game. But I think it goes back to, to what we need to do as a group. Um, focus on on uh, on how we prepare today, and um, and then if we play the the way that we know this team can team can play, then um, I get, I'm sure the result will take care of itself. Yes, they they turned out to be close games. Well, the first one anyway, in terms of score. The second one was a bit one sided in terms of the number score. Uh, what do you have to do uh, better as as individuals and as a team? Um, I think the guys would have learnt from from the first two games. Um, I think the the first one was probably one that got away from us. We we uh, we should have defended that, um, but uh, but we can't sort of can't look over our shoulders. We've got to look ahead, and, and we're looking ahead to this game, um, and, uh, and 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 then hopefully sort of keeping the series alive going forward. You've set the total twice. They like chasing. Is there a change in what you would do at the toss if you get the opportunity? You know, likely. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to wait and see what the surface looks like. Um, the decisions are based around what what, what we think the surface um, is, is best to, best to do, and um, and we thought it was to to bat first in, the, in those first two games. Um, I don't think we we did it overly well in, in the second game. As I say, the first game we probably should have been able to defend that. So um, I think it's about whatever you do, you just got to do it got to do it well. I sense from the outside that the fielding hasn't been quite as sharp as we've come to expect from a New Zealand side. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. I think uh, it's something that we pride ourselves on as a as a New Zealand cricket side is the way we field and the way we carry ourselves in the field. And I think it's been a, a bit off in the first two games. Um, so there's there's one area that that can lift, and it's something that that's not ref, re, reflective of of how you you're batting or bowling. It's an attitude thing that um, guys can uh, give in the field for that for that twenty overs. Um, Tim, with guys available for games one to three and guys available for four to five, is that signs of you looking forward to the World T20 coming up in Australia? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what um, what the reason is behind um, behind that. I think there's only only the one change. I think Tom Bruce comes in for for Colin. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what the what the exact reason is behind that. Tim, you've had a lot of uh, tips found adjusting to playing T20s again. Um, I think it's just get used to. It's the way. That international cricket is going, um, the chopping and changing the formats. So uh, it's, it's something as, as players that play all three formats, you have to have to adapt quickly. And um, it's, as I say, it's just nature of, of the game. Uh, it's usually a pretty good good surface when you turn up here for for white ball cricket. So um, yeah, another another small ground. So I'm, I'm sure it's uh, yeah, it's going to be another another typical Seddon Park wicket. That's uh, that's usually a pretty good good surface for for white ball cricket. How's the how's the mentality of the side been? Too much. Um, no, I don't think it's something you have to have to all of a sudden search for. I, I think one of the the traits of this side is we stay level. We didn't get too far ahead of ourselves when things were going well, um, and the same thing when things aren't going so well. You can't sort of Sort of dig yourself into a hole. You got to stay that that level uh, sort of mentality as, as often as you can, um, and it is a, a strength of the side. So um, yeah, we're not we're not far away. We're, we're one performance away from uh, I guess uh, putting out, out, out on a W, and uh, and and I'm sure the guys guys aren't far away from that. In that respect, do you also try and sort of avoid the public perception a little bit? Yeah, you tend to be either rated sort of you know champs or chumps no matter what your results are. Do you try as does the team try and sort of stray away from that? Um, yeah, I guess everyone's entitled to, to their opinion. There's, there's fans that I guess ride the ride the emotions of and, and the disappointment and, and the, I guess the um, the highs when it is going well. But uh, so yeah, it's something that um, as a group you just gotta, as I say, try and stay as level as you can, um, even when things are going going well, which they have done in the past. That, that the group hasn't got 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 ahead of itself. Um, and when times are like this, it's and it isn't so easy. Then um, then guys can't go insular and. And uh, and sort of sort of beat themselves up. You got to got to get get out there and, and keep trying your best and keep putting on a performance that's worthy of the of the New Zealand cricket team. As a senior member of, of team, Tim, what's your message to the younger guys who are you know under all this pressure? I guess. Yeah, they, I guess for those guys coming in, they've they've been uh, seasoned performers at domestic level, and it's about um, about coming and showing that at a, at international level. Um, it is a is a step up, but I think that they've got the skills that. Um, that they've shown in domestic level that are, that are good enough. So um, yeah, they, they're, they're not far away either. They've, they've shown, like Sir Hamish Bennett, have shown it in the past, um, and, and even Blair Tickner in his, his time as well. He's, he's done a job for us in, in the games that he's played as well. Is it worth combat pressure? Um, I don't think it changes. I think that you turn up, you assess the conditions, and, and you pick the side which you think is going to...
going to going to be best on that surface and and for the game so um and give you the best chance of winning the game um yeah india have played well um they're they're, they're a great side um and, and they got, they're full of uh, world class players so uh yeah as i say that the first game was was probably one that, that got away on us but um but we were certainly outplayed in the in the second game um we know that's always it's always tough when you play against india um and they're, they're becoming a better and better side away from home as well so we know that we've got to be at the top of our game if we're gonna gonna compete and gonna beat beat india and about about, <laughs> about that indian team you've got a decent side to australia side now i mean they've been in the ipl and all that but like i think uh plans like changed as the series go on? Yeah, I think you have initial plans. Um, some of the guys you haven't seen a lot of um, and uh, and he's come in, he's played with played with freedom and he's, he's had, a, had a great start to the series. Um, so he, he's obviously full of confidence um, but but as I say, this, this Indian side, it's not there's not one or two guys, it's a, it's the whole side that are, that are quality, um, not only with the bat but um, with the ball as well. So as I say, we know that we've got to, got to be on top of our game and um, and I guess those those tactics may change as the series goes on, as you see a little bit more of the players. And like just a couple about tactics, like um, the boundaries so short, generally small in New Zealand. Are you expecting to bowl more cutters here? Like is that like a strategy of the game you use more here than anywhere else? Uh, I think it comes back to the uh, to the to the nature of the surface. Um, if if they are reactive to to cutters and and whatnot, then then I guess you use them more. But it's it, I guess the the mentality doesn't change uh, just because the boundary size is smaller. You're trying to assess the situations, assess the conditions, um, assess the the state of the match as well, and and try and bowl what what you think's best at the time.